For the first time in four years, the winners and participating clubs in the 2020-2021 Nigerian Professional League will go home with the prize money. The chairman of the LMC, Malam Sheo Diko, made this known in a radio interview monitored. There will be prize money the way we used to pay before. It's not the first time we have paid prize money before. Uh, before we have challenges with our TV, with our TV partners, we have introduced not just prize money. Apart from the prize money, we are paying the basic money, we are paying the technical and development money. Remember, people need to forget, you know, but history, but history will remember us for, for this. There were times we are paying for away goals scored, we are paying for away wins, away draws. If you have 5,000 fans in your stadium, if you play under 18 players, we are all paying close for that. Plateau United were the last Nigerian champions to receive prize money of 50 million naira when they won the league in 2017, while Rangers received 40 million naira when they won the league in 2016. A truncated television deal with Supersport in 2017 led to the financial struggles with the LMC failing to reward MPFL clubs. With a new commercial deal signed between LMC and Red Strike, MPFL clubs will now receive prize money. Here is onto Sam. Getting into the bar line, sends the cross. And there's a mistake from Yawansu and Safu from the... The Ghanaian football authorities have given permission for training to resume in the Ghanaian Premier League. Ghanaian government imposed ban on football since March 15th. Ghana Premier League and the lower leagues have been given permission for the league to restart on October 30. No spectators are allowed during training. Only 25% of the football fans are allowed at venues. Victor Osimhen has made his long-awaited debut for Napoli after his 50 million euros transfer deal to Napoli. Dries Mertens and Lorenzo Insigne scored to give Napoli a 2-0 win over Parma. Osimhen started from the bench. His presence was evident, registering four key passes and two shots and completing his passes. He's Africa's most expensive footballer in Italy. Former Super Eagles striker Obafemi Martins has joined Chinese Super League side Wuhan FC on a one-year deal. Martin joined Wuhan on a free transfer after his contract with Shania was terminated. A promising young player of Nigerian descent, Olawale Akinlobi, made his debut for Real Madrid first team in the opening game against Real Sociedad, which ended in a goalless draw. He was introduced by coach Zenedin Zidane in the 70th minute. Akinlobi was born in Spain to a Nigerian father and Korean mother. The Nigerian Football Federation officials have attempted to lure him to play for the Super Eagles, but the young midfielder seemed interested in playing for the Spanish national side, at least for now. He could play for Nigeria, Spain, or Korea Republic. Sopriye Jaja, RSV Sports.